Hey, Clayton Bates here, one of Australia's only registered and authenticated Shopify experts. And in today's video, I wanted to compare the free Dawn theme to the turbocharged Dawn theme that Condo Soft Themes has actually made. Hopefully I said their name right. Um, but yeah, basically I'm gonna compare the two. Now, if you're not 100% sure, when you sign up to Shopify to build a website, you get the Dawn theme completely free. Shopify actually made this theme. I'm on the page now where the theme is. Now, Dawn theme is just a super basic uh, theme template to build a website. So if you're just starting out, it just has the bare bones of what you need sort of thing uh, to get going. So if you have a low budget, you're testing out your business idea sort of thing, Dawn theme is really geared towards those types of people. So if you're just testing it out, something super simple, uh, things like that. Shopify has always made free themes that are very simple and really give you um, flexibility to do anything like add apps, write code, all that sort of stuff. Now, when you use Dawn theme, the free one, it's very limited to what it can actually do. So Condo Soft Themes has actually built out the Dawn theme and turbocharged it basically, adding heaps more functions, heaps more flexibility, things like that um, for a very, very small fee. So if you have a low budget or basically no budget, Dawn is really good. And then if you can afford a little bit more money, you can actually use this Dawn Pro theme where it gives you lots of options and stuff. I'm just gonna quickly go through a couple of things here just to give you an idea. <clears throat> Dawn theme actually has a lot of bad reviews as well, 35% positive. Now, Shopify normally gets a lot of hate, but this is a free theme that they haven't really developed. So I think they get too much hate for this. And then basically this is sort of what it looks like. <clears throat> a lot of the times on like theme previews, it's just like a basic functions of what, what it does and things like that. You can make it a little bit more flexible and things but it's very stock standard sort of thing to test it out. I'm just gonna go in here and this is sort of like in the customizer, um, how it sort of looks, but hasn't haven't built it out sort of thing. Now, if I go to Condo Soft, their Dawn Theme Pro, at the moment it's on special and I'll leave a link below if you wanna grab that as well. Um, oh, also I forgot to say at the end, I'm gonna do like a pros and cons between both of them as well. So basically for a small fee, even when it's not on sale, um, $79 USD, pretty good deal sort of thing, considering how much has went into this theme. So if you come here, I've actually downloaded this theme, you can straight away see there's a massive difference. If you actually go just um, here with the section blocks on the homepage, so if I open this up, sections 36, and then if you go back to Dawn theme, just in the normal sections, it's only got 17. So it's actually got twice as many uh, section blocks and stuff like that. And if we open up their little demo store, you can actually see like this cool banner that they have, um, scrolling announcement, the products and stuff like that, collection list. It's got this little cool feature here. It's got testimonials. One of the things that I think is really, really sucks about the free Dawn theme is they don't have a testimonial section block. And the thing is like, if Dawn theme is geared towards new people, they probably don't have many reviews. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? So if they download a review app, they're gonna have no reviews or one or two reviews. But if they use a testimonial section block like this, if they get two or three, they can actually put them everywhere on the website. So it's actually a lot better for new people when you do that. Also, if you haven't seen, I made um, a video the other day about Luke's reviews. It's got a special offer at the moment. I'll leave a link somewhere up there. It's my favorite review app. So even look at this, shoppable videos, this little section block here, this block here, you probably would never use this block, but you might use this block, probably not. But here's some things as well. So like, I might show you the cart goals. So see how many things that this this Dawn Pro has compared to everything else, like cart goals, cart upsells, shipping calculator, color swatches, quantity break, cross, uh, cross sells, lookbook, wishlist, recently viewed. 
I thought Dawn had that, but maybe I could be wrong. Bundle builder, that's really cool. Advanced styling. Heaps of things that the the normal one doesn't have. This countdown timer, I tested this the other day. It's actually really cool. You can put an image behind it. This is like the, the frequently bought. You can put it all together. Let me just show you this cart, by the way, as well. Let me add this to the cart. Because I actually think their cart is actually really cool, how they've done their cart. So see how you can have like a discount here. You are $61 away from free shipping and it has little icons here. You can have like UMass Alike here, gift wrapping. You can turn all this off, by the way. Uh, apply a discount, calculated shipping, uh, select delivery day, order, special instructions. So I really like this. Uh, for a couple of cl uh, clients last year, we really tested uh, all this sort of stuff in the cart and it made quite a big difference to like their conversion rate, average order value, things like that. So I really like how that it's very flexible here. I think that personally for me is actually one of the best features here, apart from having like heaps more section blocks and things like that. Their footer, I don't 100% like it, how it's structured like this, but it's okay. One of, one of my big things is I really don't like the newsletter sign up for Dawn. I think it could be better. And then a couple of little things on mobile. But for the price, like a normal premium theme from Shopify will cost like 200 to 400 USD. And this one's like $79 USD, quite a big difference. <clears throat> uh, let me, let, let's go to this build a bundle. So it's got this build a bundle here, which is pretty cool. Um, frequently, I don't think the Dawn theme has the frequently asked questions like this. Let me have a look back here. Uh, do they have this block? Oh yeah, they do collapse content here. Yeah. But this one, it looks really nice compared to it. You can see like a big difference just from there to there. So I really like that. If you went through it, you'd probably find heaps of different little things and stuff like that. But yeah, like I said, if you're starting out, you got like a low budget sort of thing or no budget. So if you've got no budget, maybe just go the free theme. Um, if you've got a small budget, maybe use this theme. If you've got a bigger budget, you can probably use one of the paid themes, things like that, uh, the Shopify paid themes. And the thing about a condo soft as well, they have other different themes that you can buy and stuff. You can also buy all of them for, I think it's like a hundred and something dollars, $149 and get every theme. So if you're not hundred percent sold on one, you can go get another one. And if you think about it, 200 to 400 USD, if you went to the theme store to buy a theme. Now I might just quickly go over some of the pros and cons here. So, for the free Shopify Dawn theme, it has Shopify support where you can contact Shopify, get some help, stuff like that. I'm not 100% sure if this pro version, you can actually do that. But the good thing about their themes is they have a school community where basically uh, you can add, ask questions, they can make training videos, things like that. And I actually feel like that's probably actually better than the Shopify support. No offense to Shopify support, but sometimes they aren't always right. It's yeah, let's just leave it at that sort of thing. Uh, the next one, so just the basics. So it has just enough to get you off the ground sort of thing. If you build on that on that website on Dawn, you're probably gonna have to add more, hire someone, use apps and stuff. Normally for us, so we've built uh, 600 websites now. Normally, the only time we use Dawn theme is when we're building like a really big website, like custom coding everything, because it's a very good uh, foundation if you're going to custom build the whole website. So normally on really large clients, we'll use Dawn and people that are super, super, super low budget, like, um, or they're just testing it out. So maybe like influencer wants to sell, sell merch, we might use Dawn theme. Uh, pro, lots of options. So sometimes this can be a disadvantage too because there's just so much that you can actually do and it sort of takes away from 
making it clean and easy to the checkout sort of thing. So sometimes uh, you can get a bit carried away because even though it has a lot of features and stuff, probably 25% of them you actually need. Um, you really want to make your website very clean, easy to flow to the checkout. And while some of the features I talked about are very good, if you had like everything, it's not good. So if you added like every single function of their theme into your website, it probably wouldn't be good. Um, I have like other videos I've made where I go over tips and suggestions and stuff, which you can check out. If I remember, I'll leave a little card up here. So another one, Shopify, it's a Shopify theme. So one, there's gonna be lots of tutorials about Dawn, which is, which is good. And it's built by Shopify. The, the con to this on the pro is that it's a third party theme. And I might make a video on the future if enough people leave comments, but the con to a third party theme is that while I like the team at Condo Soft and stuff like that, if they change directions, uh, it, there's not really much you can do about it sort of thing. All the themes in the Shopify theme store, so even if you pay 200 or 400 USD for a theme through there, they have a strict guidelines that they have to follow. And you know if they don't follow it, they get kicked out, things like that. It's very, very strict. And when you have a third party theme, it's a bit sometimes like the wild, wild west sort of thing. It's a bit crazy, like this craziness going on sometimes. You know, you could find like a thousand themes that are third party and like 10 of them are good sort of thing. Um, and then they don't have strict rules that they have to follow like the premium themes in Shopify theme store or the free themes in Shopify theme store. Now I've had no issues with this company or anything. They seem like legends great support, great school community, all that stuff like that. But in the past, maybe four or five years ago, we used a third party theme a lot of the times for like, we, I think we built like a hundred websites on it and they completely changed directions. They broke, um, uh, like, um, websites I'd built, they broke my own website, things like that. That wouldn't happen with this theme because you're importing the theme straight into your uh, website. There's no like app feature or anything like that. But just be careful when you're using third party themes, check out the reviews, things like that. Um, yeah, so take that with a grain of salt. I like the company, I like the owner. I think they're great. But in two years from now, they might change directions. And yeah, so just take that with a grain of salt. The free one, so if you got zero budget, probably use the free. And then the pro is very budget friendly. So instead of, like I've been saying, instead of spending 200 or 400 USD for a premium theme, uh, at the moment it's $49 USD, I think it was. And normally it's $79. And then even if you have, if you wanted to buy all of them, $149. It's less than a premium theme basically to have all of their themes. Um, which I think is really, really cool. I think that's about it. If you've used the theme, let me know. If you have any questions or anything, also let me know. Um, I answer all the questions in the comments. Um, and what theme are you using? Let me know. Um, I might make a video about it, have any tips or anything. Somewhere here, there probably will be a massive special offer. So if you want to click through to that video, um, that would be great. And until next time, have a good one. Bye.